Welcome to the Affinity Sports online registration demonstration. With Affinity Sports, you have the ability to set up and make changes to your online registration if you're a club or league administrator. First, you'd want to log in with your username and password. Select Login. You first want to make sure you're in the correct season on the left-hand side. You'll want to go to Leagues first. At the league level, you only do one setting. You set up your season. You check off the age groups and select Show Application Types Coach and Player for competitive, top soccer, recreational, whatever it is you want to set up for your online registration. You scroll down and you select Update button. The next thing is you select this down arrow and go to the club level. So even if you're a league that has multiple clubs underneath your organization, every club will have their own unique domain name or URL for online registration. So here we have cysan-asdc.sportsaffinity.com. An Affinity Sports representative usually sets this up for you, but you also have the flexibility to do it yourself. Next, what you'll do is click on this Registration tab. It's a redundant step, but you select the season and you check off the age groups for the club that's associated for your online registration. So for competitive, I'm doing U11 through U19. Top soccer, I'm not going to have, so I'll uncheck that. And recreation, I'm only doing U4 through U14. When you're ready to go live, you select Show on Public Registration, this radio button set to Yes. Requires payment, yes. And then we have two additional settings, automatically accept registration or charge, charge credit card immediately without accepting. Once a player is accepted into your league, that's usually when we charge the card. But some organizations choose that we want at the time of registration for the card to be charged immediately. You can also set activate public registration dates, deactivate, and also charge a late fee. Or you can simply come in and turn this on to yes or no at your discretion. I'll go ahead and click update. The next thing you want to do is make sure you have your registration fee set up correctly. So I'll start with recreational. I'll come in and select registration fee and I'll say it's $100. This drop down menu here, the M stands for mandatory. That means everybody that's signing their child up for soccer would pay $100 for recreational. The OS and the ON are optional fees. The OS is a checkbox that's selected like this as a default where a parent can opt out of that selection. The ON is a blank checkbox like this one here where a parent has to click it to opt into that product. So I'll go ahead and hit Create free Fee. You can also set up additional fees and call it whatever you'd like. So we'll call it um, a volunteer fee. And we'll say $5. And we'll do it as an optional fee. Okay. If you have competitive, I have set up a fee of $500. And then I have this additional option called Payment Plan. So here's where you have the number of installments. You can select Edit. And you can customize the amount due. So if you want to charge more for the initial deposit, you can. And then rearrange you know, installment 2, 3, and 4. You can also set up date ranges. So usually the deposit is taken out at the time of registration. Um, but if you want to do a standard payment plan, let's say January 15th, February, we'll do March 15th. And then we're going to skip a month, give the parent a break, and we'll come back in May. So I'll say update. And then I'll apply the settings to all other age groups that have the same fee structure of $500. Okay. Next we have discounts. So for competitive, I'm not going to offer any discounts, but for recreational, we do. So I'll do a second child sibling discount, and I'm going to say $5 off the second child. 
So I'll hit Create Discount. You might offer a third child, fourth, fifth, anything after five, six, seven, eight kids, whatever you have. You can do a max family cap, which means, you know, let's say no matter if you're registering five kids at $220 is a cap. That is all you would pay. We also offer promotional codes. These are good for board members that, you know, for example, if you're a coach with your club and you want to give them $100 off their competitive fees, so instead of paying $500, they are going to pay $400. You can set up a promo code, call it Head Coach Promo or whatever you'd like. You can set an expiration date, so it's only good for a week, let's say, and then you'd enter the amount of the discount of the promo code. You can have as many promotional codes as you'd like. Uh, the last discount we have is returning player discount. So for example, for your fall season or principal season, you might, you the player registers and pays the regular fee, but for spring you give them $25 off because they're returning to your organization. So that's the returning player discount. Okay, next we have custom fields. These are additional gathering tools where you can set up fields to collect information from your parents that are registering their kids online. So text box are good for answers where you want them to type in a response. Radio buttons are good for yes, no types of questions. You can offer a list box, maybe a drop down menu. Uh, those are good if you only want them to select one option. And check boxes are good um, if you want them to be able to select more than one answer. So volunteers needed and they want to select head coach and also picture day, let's say. And so some other options, you might have assistant coach, team manager. So you come down and say show on application, applies to players, and you can choose which custom fields you want to make required. So I'll say add custom field. Okay. Next we have fields. This is every page of the online registration process. So I'll just hit this next option. You can click on edit. And this is a content editor where you can change the font size, make things bold, um, highlight certain things. Any additional text or content that you want parents to read uh, as instructions on the top of the online registration process. Okay. The next area I want to cover is the show, hide, and required radio buttons. Assignment codes are tools where after tryouts a coach can distribute a unique assignment code to that player so when the parent registers their child online they enter a code and it will add them to the team. If you're not using assignment codes I recommend you put this on hide. Photo upload, you can choose to just make it show, which means if they have the availability to upload a photo at the time of registration, they can, but you might not want to make it required because if they don't have it readily available, they might not continue the registration. Birth certificate upload, player height and weight, you might choose to hide that. So you just kind of go through each option and choose what you'd like to make required or hidden. Okay. Next, we're going to click on this content tab. This is the look and feel of your online registration. Here's where you can select your background color or your color scheme. So here I have black and red selected, if you see that here. Here's where you can upload a banner or a header image, logos, sponsorship, any kind of ad space you'd like, and then you simply click Update. The next tab is subtab content. I only want you to select welcome. This is the very first page of your online registration that your parents would see. So you could come down here and say uh, recreational fees are, you know, $100. Comp fees are 500 with payment plan option. So whatever information you want to put in here you can and this will show up immediately on the front page. The next is documents and forms. 
So the Affinity Sports system will auto-populate the player registration form with all the information collected during online registration. But if you wanted to add a scholarship form or any other kind of documents that you want parents to print at the end, you can upload them here. We do require that it's a PDF document. Next, you can click on Electronic Legal Agreement. These are good for refund policy, code of conduct, uh, anything that you want your legal club um, to force parents to sign electronically online. So we'll put no refunds after February 1st, 2014. You can have one big long electronic legal agreement or you can have as many little ones as you'd like. Okay. Next you click on messaging tab and you have player registration thank you. So you could say from name, so you'd put your club name here. Uh, this email is confirmed, you know, if you are new to the club, you can mail a paper form in. So any kind of information that you want parents to read in their email, this is sent roughly two to five minutes after registration has been submitted. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do is copy and paste this URL into another tab or internet window. Okay, so this is the front page. That's the link you'd put on your website where you want parents to link to for online registration. So you can either click here or you can click up here, registration tab. Okay, player registration. Everybody will be coming onto the system as new, so they can use option two, create new account. But for the second season or year two, they can log in under option one with their username and password, or they can use the forgot username feature and set it up through their email account. If the family registering will also be a volunteer for the team, they can also select this box and register as an administrator as well. But for today's demonstration, I'll simply just do player registration. The next screen will show up and you enter the parent or guardian's first, or la first and last name. Select the gender. What's your relationship to the child? We do only require one parent or guardian, but you can add as many as you'd like. City state zip code, your address, enter your phone number, cell phone you can make required uh, or optional, but most people do have cell phones nowadays. Enter your email address and the fam will be prompted to create a username and password. Hit save and continue button. We'll go ahead and hit add new player. To the gender and the player's date of birth. The system will automatically place the child in the correct age group based on their date of birth. We go off of the calculation date of August 1st for soccer registration. You can add one child or you can add all your family members at once and register them at the same time if they're all participating in the same club. We'll go ahead and continue. Register as player. Select the play level. So I'll go ahead and select competitive. I'll go ahead and do recreational. Here's where you can upload the photo and birth certificate. Just browse for it. School name. If the uniforms are optional, you can put those in. Person to notify an emergency. Any medical problems? Put none. Friend request buddy request and what you'd like to volunteer for. So right now I'm registering this player Johnny Test. I'll go ahead and continue. It says there's no electronic legal agreement set up for this registration. So what I'll do is I'll just jump back really quick and I'll assign it here. 
So under registration, assign PDF ELA, check them off. And then if I refresh my screen, now I have the parent's approval and medical release and the refund policy is showing up. So if you try to only agree to one of them, you'll get a pop-up telling you that you must agree to all electronic legal agreements in order to continue to the payment page and finish your registration. So here's my $100 mandatory recreational registration fee. And here's that $5 volunteer fee. I'll go ahead and pay that. And then you have your method of payment on how to pay. So you can pay by credit card, electronic check where you enter your banking and routing information, or you can do paper check, money order, whatever method of payment you would like to offer at your organization. At the end, thank you for registering, print your forms and receipts, and you've completed the online registration process. Because the Affinity Sports System is integrated with the Cal North State Association, immediately the players will show up in the player lookup screen. So you can go here to player lookup. If you want, you can enter a date range. You could say, show me all the players that registered today. Hit search. And here's my little Johnny test player that I just registered online. This is a registrar's view of the payment that has come in through the online. If it was a credit card, it would say Visa, MasterCard, last four digits, expiration date, etc. So if you need any assistance setting up your online registration, we recommend you click on tech support contact here. Call us at 877-700-1470 or you can click on here to submit a help ticket and a representative will contact you as soon as possible. I thank you for your time and look forward to bringing your organization online with Affinity Sports.